Hello, I'm on a uh, bicycle tour, uh, backpacking rig, and doing a shakedown of my gear. Um, about six miles in, I'm planning to do a total of 30 today. And uh, beautiful weather. And uh, so far, I've been mainly on a um, uh, bicycle trail, rails to trail. But I will be turning off that onto rural roads soon and eventually getting to gravel roads and then finally to forest roads. So here's my rig. Um, you can see I got the backpack strapped to the front handlebars. It's, uh, it's an old backpack. I would guess it's about 35 liters. It says frost line, it's from the 80s. And this little pack has uh, tools, uh, inner tube and patch kit. I've got a total of three liters water. And where I'm going, there should be water, so I should be okay. And I got a dry pack. This is actually a pack for kayaking, but uh, I've got a tent in there and uh, food is in there as well. So onward. So here's what the rails to trails look like. A lot of trees, a few open areas. Beautiful weather. Uh, not many bugs. I hope I don't jinx myself. Because normally this is bug season. That's where we're at, rural Michigan. So here's my turn. All right, downhill. Sixty second and baseline road. Draw a line down baseline road and you get to eight mile road in Detroit. Hard packed gravel road. A little bit of washboard, which I can probably avoid by getting out of the tire tracks. Uh, it has rained, so this road is in good shape. Going through swampland here. And we're on to pavement for a while. A little downhill.
lots of nice little farms, lots of open land. Used to be an old mill pond there. So far not a lot of traffic. One car has passed me about two miles. I hear a crop duster out there somewhere. Some big clouds out there. Wouldn't be surprised to see some rain. See a pretty high quality of life out here. So this area doesn't have a whole lot of hills, but uh, that's a good thing because I'm not in shape yet. I'll keep working on it. So this is a busy road. They have some cars over there. Okay, this is where I head east. I got about six miles to go east. Whoops. Break here. Got to go six miles this way and a mile and a half to the left, to the north. Go east. Black dirt, an old river bottom. And lots more of it. Way up ahead, behind that car, I can see the railroad tracks. Mowing lawns seems to be like the big event here. Hello. There's a store here, right to my left, but I got all the water I need and I got all the food I need, so I definitely could use a break, but time to head north a bit. All right. And here's my turn. Hundred sixteen.
Uh, a couple miles yet. We're headed towards a gravel road and we're headed into the Allegan State Game Area. And that's where the camping is. And uh, my butt is starting to complain a little bit. We're on mile 20 something. I did take a break at six, mile six. But I'm pretty happy. This went pretty well so far. If I were to take a break, I could probably do a couple more hours. All right, back on the gravel. Should be the last house from here on in. It's for us. All right. Stopped at the top of the hill for a drink of water. And the mosquitoes have arrived. And here it is. So this looks like a decent uh, camp spot. So I am trying out this new tent that I got. It was really cheap. It was a Walmart tent. And uh, we'll see if it is any good. Well, so far pretty easy to set up. Freestanding. I think I'm gonna lift it over to the uh, shaded area and uh, take a nap. Pretty easy setup, I would say. All right, protection from mosquitoes. I'm glad I brought this. So I had my nap, um, looked at navigation, and this trip was only 22 miles. I thought it was 30, but um, apparently it's uh, really not a very long trip. Um, it's about 2 o'clock, roughly, and uh, I had my nap and i um, going to drink some water, maybe take a walk down to the lake. Finished setting up my tent because I see some clouds coming in. And um, I guess I would say 22 miles is not that much. I've, I My training ride is 12 miles and I do that without stopping. I was ready for a break though. I was really glad to be able to uh, sit down on the picnic table until the mosquitoes convinced me to uh, set up my tent. 
and uh, this is pretty comfortable. Pretty happy about it. So I took a swim. I feel clean. Um, here where the wind is, there's no bugs. Or not many. It's absolutely beautiful today. So I got a nice camp back here, way back in the woods, but there's a lot of mosquitoes. I think I'm going to take another nap. So here's dinner. Tuna, which I just eat out of the package. Turkey and some beans, which will be an hour or so. Bugs are still pretty bad. It's much nicer down by the lake. They're just waiting outside the tent. Well, that tent was a lifesaver. I was swarmed by mosquitoes when I got out of it. Anytime I opened it. And I basically stayed in the tent from about 5 o'clock to this morning, 5 o'clock p.m. yesterday, and uh, it was okay, but I think I picked the wrong camp spot because there, by the lake, there were others. I think it wasn't as bad because people could actually sit outside. Back on 113th. Getting close to the rails to trails. We're well over halfway. I'm hoping to take my first break as soon as I find a picnic table on the rails to trails. All right. So after a Bandana wipe down and uh, a couple of bars. Feeling pretty good. Drank about two liters of water. I, uh, I kind of flood my campsite because of the mosquitoes. And once I was rolling, it was not bad at all. But, uh, I just kind of kept going. There was not many places to stop in the countryside. It's just the side of the road. So I'm doing pretty good. Almost home. Really happy about uh, making this trip. friends I made it home um, was pretty tired when I got home but after a shower and a nap of a couple hours feeling pretty good um, best parts of the trip swimming in Ely Lake and um, just general being free on a bike being able to go pretty much anywhere I wanted to uh, bad parts of the trip, um, mosquitoes, and then also uh, getting a sore butt about 10 miles into e each trip. So I'm going to work on um, seat height on my bike, try adjusting that, and, and also try to keep riding, and uh, maybe that will help. But uh, great trip, not the easiest, but... Um, um, if I keep uh, if I keep riding, I think things will get easier. 
Um, thanks for watching.